doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Monday morning, I am getting a little late start on my activities. Fall break. I didn't have to wake up so early. So I just got done with my walk. Got in. Figured I'd get on this right here and Get her done. And that's what I'm doing. I don't normally want to stop on my bike, but I'm going to stop and I'm going to lower that stand down just a hair. So we can get all of my god dang beautiful body in there. How's that? There's more of my body. Not much. See, there's too much room at the top. This is called composition, guys. Composition. When you have too much room here, or too much room down here, or over here, and you don't compose the shot correctly. That's with video and with still images. Anytime I give my camera or phone or something to somebody, or I tell them to take a picture with their phone or whatever, I always, not always, but many times I try to emphasize composition. Hey, make sure you get us in there. Make sure you get this. And people just don't do it. They don't think about it. You gotta get the shot lined up right. Let me double time it for a second. Double time it just for a second there and make it for that. Getting off my bike. Whew. So yesterday I actually went for a bike ride. I loaded my bike up, took it out to the lake, went for a ride. You can check out the video on my Facebook. Or you can go to my YouTube, Mikey Sun TV. M-I-K-I-E-S-O-N T V, all one word. Go check it out. Go check out all my other videos while you're in there. Oh, and also like, share, and subscribe. Very easy to do. Especially if you already have a Google account, like a Gmail account, or anything else Google owns. You just sign in with that, and boom! You got yourself a profile. And then you can go in there and start liking things, commenting on things, subscribing to channels, all that stuff, and it helps out people to get recognized and pushed out there into YouTube world, into the internet world. So yeah, I did have a good bike ride yesterday, beautiful day, uh, it's pretty much three months since I uh, retired from full-time riding. Uh, I do ride out here in front of my house once in a while instead of using the trainer. I'll just go back and forth in my neighborhood uh, enough times to get like maybe three or four miles. Or I should say not really instead of this, but maybe along with this just to keep me used to riding and the feel of the bike and handling it and stuff, so. You know, it don't take that, it don't take that long to go three, four miles on a bike. 
for some people. For me, I'm not real fast. Never have been. And you'll notice, back to composition, I could still go down probably another foot with my tripod. That's what she said. And then I wouldn't have so much room from the top of my head to the ceiling. See how much room? That's all wasted space. You really should be seeing from about maybe here down to the bottom of my bike. Pretty much. Just a little bit of photography and videography 101 for you. Mike, how'd you become so brilliant? I don't know. It's a curse. <sighs> a curse, I tell you. So I finally washed my bike yesterday before I went on my bike ride. Been forever since I washed it. It was just caked. I mean, there was just dirt and grime caked all over it. Spider webs all over it from sitting here. Uh, even though I spin on it every single day, still had spider webs all over it. And we're infested with spiders in this whole area. Like, you wouldn't even believe. Horrible. Horrible. And they get in the house, and we're not talking about just little teeny tiny spiders, we're talking about legs and all being like, you know, <sighs> big, gross, like, chase you and kill you kind of spider. You know, I get to thinking, of course I've been thinking about it, it's nothing, it's nothing new. But I think a lot of selling and moving, not necessarily moving away, but, you know, I would sell this house and get a nice single wide trailer on a lot and have a nice big outbuilding uh, fixed up with all the stuff that I want. I'd love to have that. I wanted a big outbuilding uh, ever since the 90s. See, I've always been into stuff. I'm working out, game rooms, home theaters, and I've had all that, but it's always been mixed into one room, or, or I have this or the other, or what have you. And I'd love to have a building that's like, I don't know, 24 feet wide by about 70 feet long and have it in three sections, have like a gym in the first section and then like a gaming area, video games, pool table, stuff like that in another area and then on the back end of it have a theater, you know, all, all kind of like the gym and the video game area and pool table and all that, that would all be open. But it would be in its own section. But then the theater would be walled off and be its own section. I'd love to have something like that. Always have. Ever since the 90s, I've always I wanted to have a building that I could use. I see someone's watching, not sure who you are, but I appreciate you tuning in, even if it's just for a second. Thank you. I'm just spinning on the old bike, thought I would brighten everyone's day with a little live stream, hopefully give you a little bit of motivation and inspiration to get back and to enjoy your day. And just like that, they're gone. You mentioned getting active. Most people take off. Hey, I want to talk to you about eating a little better, changing your lifestyle. <laughs> Dawn. Hey, I want to talk to you about sitting around drinking a two liter of soda and eating Doritos. I'm all interested. It's kind of how it goes. Weird. I'm not saying that's necessarily what that person did. Whoever you were, if you tune in again. I'm just saying it. It is like that.
people don't want to do better for themselves. They want to keep doing the same old same and expecting something different. I know, I've been there. And I'm still not perfect, I'm still fighting. You would think, those of you out there that keep up with me, you would think I would be super fit, super, you know, maybe built better and, and all that, but my body responds slowly to things. I don't just drop weight like that. I don't get toned up. I don't have like a toned body. Even when I was at my skinniest of 170 pounds, I wasn't toned and beautiful. I've always got that layer a little layer of fat and water and, you know, all that to deal with. And then once you put on weight over the years, it's almost impossible to, even with all the hard work uh, exercising and all the hard work that you're trying to do, uh, even with all that hard work, it's still hard to turn back the hands of time. You know, I try to tell people, and you know, we're not just trying to lose weight and get healthy and, and all that. You know, it's not just so easy. You literally have to fight off, you know, 20 years, 30 years, 50 years, high road you are, and long you've been alive, whatever. Uh, that many years of a bad lifestyle. Well, let's face it, since birth, let's say 99% of us, we'll use the old cliche 99%, we're on the American diet. Whatever you want, as much as you want, go for it. So, even as kids, you know, even my age, way back then, as kids, you know, you weren't limited. You eat that tub of ice cream. Eat that bag of chips, that two liter soda, go for it. And sometimes you go through all of it in one day. It's not easy. You gotta totally reset the brain. Because you've been brainwashed since birth. That goes for other things too, guys. That we won't get in here. We won't get into it. Lots of brainwashing. Okay, from politics to religion to lifestyles, eating habits and all. Lots of brainwashing from birth. So we're we're getting pretty deep into October now. My wife just had a birthday yesterday. She's 29. God, how old is she? I don't know. I forgot. Hey, she must be going. But, uh, yeah, we're heading into Halloween. We're going to be there before you know it. We're going to have a Halloween party. Hopefully we'll have a few people over and enjoy ourselves and have a few games and have a good time. But before then, tomorrow, i got to go try and renew my CDL license. I'm a bus driver. Then Saturday, me and a nephew and a friend, we're going to go out of town just like... 30 minutes away. Go eat. And later that night, that evening, we have our movie night here that we do on uh, Saturday nights. Uh, late September on through October. Uh, Saturday night movie night we have here outside on the projector and, and all that. And we got that Saturday and then the weekend after that, we got, we're going to go see that's Halloween Kills, uh, the new Halloween movie. Of 
course, it comes out next weekend, but we're not going to go to the next weekend because my wife will go to go. So. I wish we had more parts, more trails and stuff around here, you know, for these kind of bikes. More scenic routes and stuff, you know, that's for bikes and joggers and walkers and that kind of stuff. Because I would get out and ride more. Like yesterday was my day off, you know. I give myself a day off from all my exercising and all that, if I want to. Most of the time I do something anyway. But that's what I did yesterday was the bike ride, so. A little bit of extra working out. And uh, it was beautiful out anyway, so might as well enjoy it. Instead of sitting at home doing nothing. Like housework or something. I don't want to do no housework. So, anyway, back to our Halloween party that we're going to have on the 30th. I never really tried to throw a real party to where there's like games and stuff to do and enjoy and all that stuff. So, trying to figure out a few things. I know we're going to have a costume contest. Uh, the winner of that will get like $25. We're going to have some candy in a jar. And whoever gets closest to the correct number gets the jar of candy. I think we're going to have a, a cakewalk. We'll probably have two or three cakewalks throughout the night. And of course give the prize away with that. And I'm thinking of making that something different. I was thinking like on every other mark or something, like a couple of marks throughout the circle or square, whatever it is, I don't know, I've never done one, have like, you know, if someone lands on this, uh, they got to do whatever, whatever that says, like, uh, eat a, eat one of the nasty stinky jelly beans or something, or eat a hot piece of beef jerky if I still have any at that point. <laughs> Or, uh, I don't know, something. We're trying to think of something, or I'm trying to think of something. And uh, just to kind of spice it, spice it up and make it more interesting. Uh, oh, we'll figure it out. Oh, actually going out of town. Wednesday, me and my wife are going out of town. And uh, kind of go the Halloween store in Clarksville and try to find some uh, Halloween outfits and some different stuff for the party. So, and we're going to have the projector going and the movie playing and music playing and all that kind of stuff and we're going to have foods and try to have a good time. It's going to be a long day. i got to try and get in all my exercise for that day early and then really start cleaning the car. I guess a lot of it's kind of on my shoulders, you know, 
making sure everything goes right and what have you. So I just got to make sure I'm ready to go. Make plans and try to get them done. And if you didn't know, I'm looking at it right now. I actually uh, scored a free bit of uh, exercise appointment, or cardio appointment. I got a treadmill. A lady had posted on Facebook Marketplace. I seen it and I sent her a message, and she didn't reply until some time later. She's like, "Well, I got a bunch of people looking at it and you know interested in all this, but I'll keep you in mind or whatever." And luckily, none of those people fell through or followed through. And she got with me later that night and uh, said, it's yours if you want it. So uh, I yelled at my father-in-law, who lives right next door, right here. He has a truck. And uh, he was nice enough to go out there and help me get it and load it up in his truck and, and all that. So, I mean, it's not perfect. It's a little loud, a little vibrating, and some of it could be because it's on concrete. But, you know, you can tell it's... It's older and all that, but I don't care as long as it spins and uh, everything, I'm good with it. And she said they put a new belt on it at some point. I don't remember. Or she didn't tell me when, but she said it does have a new belt. It's at least 10, 11 years old. It's somewhere around the 2010 model or so. I kind of looked it up and that's kind of what I came up with. But, and it's only used for, like, if it's raining. I've actually walked in the rain. I saw you and him walking in the rain. Uh, I have walked in the rain a few times, but I'd rather not. So that's really what that's for, is when it's just too bad out, you know. Otherwise, I, I got my neighborhood. That's why you should never overspend on stuff like that. And what's funny, so many people fall for it. So many people buy so much fitness equipment. It's ridiculous. I'm going to get fit. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to use the cliche again. 99% of the time, it ends up sitting in their garage, in their basement, in their bedroom, tucked in a corner somewhere, clothes on it, junk on it. They don't use it. They don't realize that it takes a lot of dedication. You've got to be persistent at being consistent and consistent at being persistent. You got to have it up here, or you're not going to have it here. It's all mental. And, uh, so many people buy, spend so much money on these things, from bow flex to solo flex. Because they're big names. Because they're pushed out there in marketing. To Peloton, spin bikes and stuff. Yeah. And they spend this high dollar amount on stuff that they could have went lower end or middle ground on and seen how they were going to do instead of going full on crazy and uh, end up wasting their money. Now, I've spent money on gym equipment in the 90s and up until 2010-ish. You know, off and on, off and on, off and on. Work out for a few months, stop for a year. Work out for a few months, stop for a few months, etc., etc. I did that a lot throughout that whole time. I wasn't as consistent and persistent as I am now. If I would have been... But, having said that, what I'm saying is, I never bought expensive, big brand equipment because you don't need it. Even lifting heavy, like I did, you know, once you get over 200, 300 pounds or so, you're in a heavy game, you know? So, people buy more than what they need. They, they follow the hype too much. 
Well, you need this if you're serious. You know, if you're serious about this, you need this. You know? And they market it. They market it as such, and it's like... Hook, line, and sinker. Suzanne Summers had that F5 thing for years. It's probably still for sale. That thing didn't do nothing. Now, is it better than sitting there doing nothing? Barely. We don't do nothing. You know how much money that woman made off that thing? Probably a billion dollars. B. Billion. Was his name Tony Little? With the long hair and all these Piper on that Goliath thing. Remember that? Back in the 90s? He probably made a billion dollars off of that. People buy that thing, use it for about a day, and then it sits there. Crazy. There's a lot of money to be made in the fitness industry. Lots. Because there's always suckers out there who think, ooh, if I get this, it's going to change my life. I'm going to look like them. Little did they know, those people didn't get to look like that by using that piece of equipment. And they didn't get like that also without putting in hard work. In the gym and in the kitchen. So, people are so cool. They're just so blind and... That just shows you right there another thing of how easily we're manipulated. Our minds are so weak, you know, for being supposed to be the top of the food chain, the smartest animals on the planet. We're stupid. Let's face it. It's crazy. We fall for anything, guys. Oh, some Nigerian prince wants to deposit $10 million into my bank account. I just have to give him my information. Oh, okay. You know how many people fell for that? A lot of people. That's how stupid people are. Crazy. you to do better guys Boop. hope I inspired you in some way today guys to do better and stop being an experiment okay stop being weak minded think for yourself alright be an inspiration to someone today be an inspiration to yourself every day don't forget guys get up Get out, get red, do it to it. And why am I looking in the flash instead of the camera lens? I don't know. I'm an idiot. Let me inspire you to not be an idiot. We'll see y'all later. Have a good Monday and stay tuned for more on my Facebook and my YouTube, Mikey Sun TV. See y'all later.